Hi everyone! So we're going to talk about some comments here because over the years that I have done YouTube, I've come across many, many people who really truly believe and actually still do believe, um, like meaning there are, there's always people who first come to and first hear about a raw foods diet and they immediately right off the bat think that it's really limited and restrictive and and like the, it, it's so restrictive that that it's boring to, that it seems boring number one it's not okay we'll, we'll get to that here guys we'll get to that but then the, I have also come across people who have eat who do eat raw or vegan or, or plant-based and they still view they still view it as limited and restrictive now that I I, I don't agree with that I just don't agree with that because it most definitely is not it most definitely is not because it is the most it is actually more abundant and more there's you have more options and more variety and it's more abundant in the raw vegan arena than it is in um than it is in in the standard american way of eating okay or animal products way of eating you have more options and you have more variety eating fully raw than you do in a standard american diet okay truly you do and so i have now you guys i i did a general google search here okay you guys can i googled i googled you guys and you most certainly can do your own research too but i know over the years of that i have eaten fully raw and I still do to this very day, and I plan on doing it for the rest of my life because I love it so much. I love it so much that I understand the amount of variety God has provided for us. He has provided us, provided us, us an abundance of food, an abundance of plant foods. He knows what's right for us. He knows the foods that we need, and he's not gonna limit us, limit us. He's not gonna restrict us. God is a limitless God, okay? God is full of pure love, agape love, and he wants more for you, and he always wants to bless you with more. And in the health arena, it is plain and clear to see that. I mean, even though we're in the sinful life right now, in the present moment, the abundance and God's limitless power and his amazing abundance, the way he is in love, is so plain and clear to see, okay? So for right now, to demonstrate this here, guys, let's start here. Let's, let's just put this in perspective here, okay? So let's put this in perspective. So is a raw food diet the way God truly intended us to eat? Um, is it truly limit limited and very restrictive well let's just see guys i gotta say it again let's put this into darn perspective this is wonderful i'm excited you guys okay number one number one here guys is there are over tw oh, let's see it's over twenty thousand species of edible plants in the world right now right now there are it's not 20,000 species there's over 20,000 species of edible plants in this world right now okay my goodness wow that that is so much it's almost it's almost incomprehensible to think of that and but but what we see but the, but then they, it also said that yet there are only 20 species that now provide 90% of our food so the plant foods that we see, that we most of us have access to, that's only roughly 20 species, or maybe even a little bit more, of the 200, oh, of the over 200,000 species that are known on this planet. So what you see in the grocery store is piddly widdly, is nothing compared to what God has truly provided for you. Okay, and so let's let's take it a step further here, guys. Okay, let's go with bananas because everybody knows the bananas. Okay, everybody knows what a banana is. But did you know? Did you know that uh, all you raw foodies do know this? I know there's a lot of raw food, food foodies out there, 
uh, that you guys understand what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, and you love it too. I know you do. So with bananas, there are over, just in bananas alone, okay, we're taking of the 200, of the over 200,000 species of edible plants, okay, we're taking one of them and we're looking at just one and we're looking at the, the arena of the nanners, okay, bananas. So in bananas, there are over 1,000 different types growing now around the world. Like right now, there's over a thousand different varieties growing right now. Over a thousand, okay? There are 365 days in a year, okay? Do you know how many years that will take you if you tried a new banana every day? How many years would that take you to try all the bananas that are actually growing that God has provided for you, huh? That, that, that takes several years, okay? That's just bananas alone. And there was another website where it said there are um, actually 1,400 different types of known uh, banana varieties, varieties of bananas growing right now. And I know, okay, you guys, I'm up here in Alaska, Fairbanks, Alaska, okay? I have tried roughly seven to eight different types of bananas in my area. Okay, right now I have two different types on my countertop. Okay, I have the plantain nanners. Okay, plantain bananas. I love plantains. I can go on and on about these babies here, so we're not going to go down that road. I've got several videos on my channel about plantain nanners. I love them. And then, of course, everybody knows the standard yellow or the, they call them cabinash or cabinash bananas. Okay, everybody knows the standard yellow, yellow bananas. But I've tried those plantains, of course, regular yellow bananas, plantains. There's burrow bananas, apple bananas, sweet Thai bananas, red bananas, baby Nino bananas, and I think... Yeah, I think those are the only types of bananas that I have tried just up here in my area in Fairbanks, Alaska, okay? I don't have access to all those different types of bananas on a daily um, or weekly basis, but I definitely have access to them quite often, okay? At least four or five different types of those bananas, I have access to them quite often, okay? And I'm up here in Alaska, okay? so. That's amazing. That's just seven out of the over, oh, out of over the thousand different types. You know, that's that, that's amazing. If you guys, if you ask Miss Stacy here, guys, that's just quite amazing. That blows my mind. And then, so let's move on to apples, okay? So let's move on to the wonderful apples, okay? Everybody has their apple, certain apple that they love, okay? And there's certain varieties we all see in the grocery store and everything, but just in apples alone, okay? There are over 20, okay, over 2,500 varieties that grow just in the United States alone. That's just in the United States alone, over 2,500 different varieties. And there are 7,500, 7,500 varieties grown throughout the world, okay? So that is quite amazing. That is a lot of apples. And just think of how many, how many years would that take you just to try each different type of apple? You know, that is amazing. That's amazing. And then, okay, let's take the mangoes, okay? How many different types of mangoes are there in the world? Everybody kind of knows the standard mango, and they know keep mangoes and the champagne mangoes. But did you know? Did you know? I know all you raw foodies know. I know all you raw foodies know this. But mangoes, there are over 500 different varieties of mangoes. That's amazing. That is amazing. 500 different varieties? I can't even imagine what all the other mangoes... What, what other flavors can you make? You know what? Leave it up to God. God's the one that can do it because he is limitless. He is limitless. He can do anything and provide you and consistently provide you with more and more new excitement and health. He can do it. He can do it. And just in pineapples alone, okay, you thought there was one variety of, of pineapple. Well, there are over, uh, it said 37 varieties of pineapple. 
Now that I did not know when I saw that I'm like, whoa, 37 different types of pineapple. And when you look at the images of these fruits and you see the different types, it's like, oh my gosh, it is so cool. Some of them are red, some of them are pink, some of them are just multicolored. And it's just like, wow, this is so cool. It's like, I wonder what they taste like, what the flavor tastes like, you know? And then for all you starch lovers out there who are into the potatoes and yams and stuff like that, there are over uh, 4,000 different varieties of potatoes. Durian, any durian lovers out there? Miss Stace is a durian lover. I'm a durian lover, guys. And I can't wait to try as many durian varieties as I can. I've only tried the Morinthong durian, uh, the common one, and I've only tried it frozen because I'm up here in Alaska. Of course it's frozen, but I can only get access to it in its frozen package state. But I can't wait for the day until I actually get to try an actual fresh one. But there are 30 different types of varieties of durian that is amazing. I've seen different uh, pictures of durian and some of them are brown, some of them are red, some of them it's just is amazing. It looks it looks so good. And then avocados. Oh, all you avocado lovers out there. There are over hundred there are hundreds of different types of varieties of avocados. It's amazing. Like hundreds of different types of avocados. And then tomatoes. Oh my gosh. Tomatoes, there are more than 15,000 known varieties, and 3,000 of them are currently in cultivation worldwide. 15,000 known varieties of tomatoes? That is, that's incomprehensible. That's incomprehensible. That is amazing. That's a lot of different types of tomatoes. And that's, not, okay, and this is not including all the berries, all the different types of sapotes, all the different types of papayas, all the different types of exotic fruits out there. There are a lot of tropical and exotic fruits out there that a lot of people don't realize that are there, but they are there. We just don't get access to them and see them in our grocery store. But there are li like the lychees, rambutans, longans, there's white sapote, black sapote, mame sapote, tons of different other types of sapotes. There's tons of different types of papayas. There's tons of different types of, um, there's soursop, there's cherimoyas, there's sugar apples. There's, um, there's so many different types of fruits that are not like the common fruits. There's like, like, like it said, there's over over 20,000 different varieties, species of edible plants that, I mean, these are edible plants, plants for that are edible for us to consume, to eat. That is amazing. So in my opinion is a fully raw diet is eating fully raw limit. Is it limited and very restrictive? I'd like to think not. I'd like to think not because just in that, just eating the whole fruits just the way that is, just knowing that, that's eating the fruits just whole the way they are, that's not including all the different types of different combos you can make in juicing, in, smooth, in smoothies, in um, dressings and sauces and dips, all the different combos you can put together and make even more delicious meals and for yourself. And you know what? It is limitless. It's limitless because God is limitless because God loves us so much and he wants us to have healthy, happy, healthy bodies. I truly know that in my heart. And hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully your guys, your guys' eyes were open to know that a fully raw diet is not limit. It's not limited at all. It's not restricted at all. At all. So yeah, there, you're going to have some people who are going to say, well, yeah, that, that's right there, Miss Days, but we only have access to these amount of fruits and vegetables. Um, so there may be that much variety, but we can only have this little bit. So eating fully raw is still limited and restricted. No, it's not. No, it's not. You know what? Prayer beats anything, okay? And I have a testimony to that. I have several testimonies to that. But that was, that was actually, it goes into a whole other videos, okay? But I mean, I'm up here in Alaska and I can still order so many different exotic fruits online and it can still get shipped to me up here in Alaska, okay, you guys? So far north to the North Pole, it's unreal, okay? And you know what? 
I, I just, when people say that, they have to, op to me, they have to just open up their eyes and, and see, because we have so much information, so many recipes at our fingertips in this day and age of social media, in this internet that we have, that it is amazing at how, the access that we have to, you know, and there are so many different raw recipes you can make. There are so many different plant foods you can get access to, and I mean, there's so much. I mean, I can't say any more about it because there's just so much. It's it's not restricted at all. And that's what's so wonderful about eating fully raw. That's one of the many reasons why I love eating fully raw and I still eat fully raw to this day and want to for the rest of my life because it is so freeing. It is so limitless. There's so much and there's so much yet to try. It's so delicious. It's so sweet. It's so satisfying, so satiating. I mean, there's nothing better than when you have God and then when you have your health. Okay, you guys, so I will leave it at that. So remember to love being raw, I guess. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you, and I'll see you guys next video, okay? Bye, guys.